Hello Gemini and welcome to Star Tarot. I hope you are doing well. Ito po ang inyong reading for September 5 to 11. And this is for the collective as always. So hindi ito magra-resonate with everyone. Kunin nyo lang po kung ano yung magra-resonate sa inyong sitwasyon. Thank you. And also maraming salamat po sa pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share and hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. Let's go. Calling your angels and your spirit guides para samahan at i-assist tayo throughout this reading. Thank you. So, tignan natin kung ano yung mga mensahe para sa sa'yo, Gemini. We have the full moon in Taurus detoxify. Ayan, mag-detoxify daw kayo. Uh, Gemini, maaring stressed out na ang iba sa inyo, you know. So, it's time to uh, simplify your life. Tanggalin mo muna yung mga negative energy sa iyong paligid um, mag declutter ka maybe you know it's best to start decluttering from your uh, physical space and your working environment in your uh, living space yung ganon para you know kung mas organisado malinis ang iyong paligid you know that has a very beautiful uh, psychological psychological effect naman sa iyo you're going to think clearly, mas maaliwalas ang iyong pag-iisip, ba? So, and from then on, then you can detoxify yourself. Mag-start ka doon sa iyong um, detoxify your your heart and your mind, ba? So, that's beautiful. So, tignan natin kung ano pang pa para sa iyo. Gemini, we have full moon in Pisces. Forgive. Ayan. Uh, most of you, you know, Taurus, I feel that you are ready to forgive. Uh, ramdam nyo na to na you are uh, on your healing process na. Kaya ka, uh, makaka-afford ka na mag-forgive ng mga tao na kasakit sa'yo, yung mga tao nagpaiyak sa'yo. Uh, handa ka na magpatawad. And maybe, you know, some of you also are ready to forgive yourself. Kasi maaring you've been, you've been too hard on yourself and ngayon you're going to realize na masyado ka namang stricto sa sarili mo. So, papatawarin mo din naman ang iyong sarili sa pagiging, you know, sobrang uh, difficult sa sarili mo. So, your next message is the last quarter moon in Gemini. Make time for self-love. Ayan. So, yung pag detoxify mo na to is one manifestation ng pagpapakita mo ng iyong self-love. So, yun. You're going to uh, declutter your life. You're de de going to declutter your yourself. And then, do some kind of self-care pa. You know, magpa-spa ka, mag treat mo yung sarili mo for, you know, uh, salon service, magpa-foot spa, yung mga ganun. So, yun, kailangan-kailangan mo yan ngayon because you need to recharge, you need to rejuvenate, you may need to recuperate, you know, from all the stresses that the world have given you in the past few weeks or few months or few years and ngayon naiipo na yan so make time for self love hindi puro uh, para sa ibang tao yung, yung mga ginagawa kasi maaring you've been serving many different people you know, pamilya mo, mga anak mo asawa, kapatid, you know magulang and other people colleagues, you know, kaibigan you've been serving other people you've been very generous of your love of your time, your energy your effort para sa ibang tao but yung sarili mo, kailan mo naman yun aasikasuhin, di ba? You also need to show yourself some love. Ipamper mo naman ang iyong sarili mo. And that is the calling for you this week, um, Gemini. So, your next card is first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. Ayan. So, right off the bat, ang aking naririnig dito is a controlling relationship. So, I feel that it could be either way. Maaring ik ang iba sa inyo yung very controlling sa relationship ninyo, not necessarily na sa love relationship lang ito. It could be also sa pamilya, it could also be sa uh, friendly relationship, or it could be also sa colleagues, yung mga ganon. So, any kind of relationship na you are 
in, you know, I feel yung una kong narinig dito is maybe you are in a controlling position sa iyong mga relationships. So, dito ang sinasabi sa iyo, release control. Allow other people to express themselves. Allow other people in the relationship na uh, gawin nila yung mga gusto nilang gawin, i-express nila yung gusto nilang i-express. ba? Diba? So, ang isang um, scenario naman dito na aking na-pick up then is maybe you are in um, controlling relationship. Maaring ikaw yung kinokontrol ng ibang tao dito. So, what I am getting here is release yourself from that control. So, yun ang isa pang uh, narinig ko dito sa sitwasyon. So, it could be, you know, uh, other people's situation na ikaw naman yung kinokontrol uh, ng ibang tao. So, ayun. Let's take a look for more messages. Gemini, first quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. So, ito na, speaking of releasing that, uh, releasing yourself from that controlling situation, release your blocks then. So, that could be, you know, that releasing, uh, being involved in that controlling relationship could be what is blocking you from moving forward. That could be, you know, what is blocking you from achieving your goals, diba? That's why you also, you are being asked here to release your blocks. So, ayan. So, you may need to do some kind of introspection here. Some kind of contemplation and reflection dito para ma-pinpoint ma mo sa yung sarili kung ano ba yung nagbablock sa sa'yo. Para maging successful ka. Para lumakad ka towards your destiny, ba? Diba? So, your next message, Gemini, is the four of wands. So, this is celebration, Gemini. This is happiness. This is domestic happiness na, na, na uh, nag-aabang dito. So, this is also marriage para sa iba. Maaring ang iba sa inyo is is attending a wedding or attending an engagement party or ang iba sa inyo is kayo yung ikakasal or kayo yung makakatanggap ng um, marriage proposal. So, ito yung uh, reunion din ito eh. Merong pagtitipon ng mga pamilya, uh, members of the family and close friends dito um, having having fun and, you know, reunion ito. Merong mga mahalagang pag-uusap din dito. I feel na magaganap in the week ahead. So, your next card is the Knight of Wands. You are going for it. So, you are going to be determined ngayong linggo. And I feel that, you know, magiging determinado ka na, na matutukan mo itong mga bagay na to, you know. Yung pag-release ng iyong mga blockage, yung pag-release ng control, yung pag-release ng sarili mo over that controlling situation, kung ikaw man yon, yung pag uh, self-love mo, self-care, yung pag iyong pag-forgive, at ang iyong um, pag-detoxify ng iyong sarili. So, and your space. I feel that, you know, that is going to uh, parang isang malaking proyekto to para sa iyo ngayong week, Gemini. I feel that you are going for all of this. I feel na ngayong linggo, you are going to set a standard for yourself. Na ito yung mga gagawin ko. So, kailangan ko tong matapos. Yung parang ganun. I feel that I'm seeing that in you. Na you're going to be determined para magawa mo ang, ang mga bagay na ito this coming week. So, your final message is the Nine of Pentacles. Wow! So, you know, dito sa Nine of Pentacles, you're just going to enjoy ngayon of your success. You are going to enjoy your financial success dito kasi you deserve it. You well deserve that because you are a hard worker. Pinagtrabahuan mo yan ng matagal na panahon and now that you are getting into the pinnacle of success financially, you are having that time now para mag-splurge ka naman dyan sa iyong success, sa iyong uh, fruits ng iyong uh, pagtatrabaho at pagtsatsaga. So, now, 
you are just going to enjoy the fruits of your labor dito. You're just going to chill. And ayun, kumbaga magpapapak magpapakasaya ka kumbaga sa iyong pinaghirapan. And that is beautiful, right? That is self-love. Pinagtrabahuan mo yan, itreat mo naman ang sarili mo. Hindi lang yung nagtatrabaho ka ng nagtatrabaho para makapag-provide ka para sa iyong pamilya or para sa ibang tao. But yung pinagtrabahuan mo naman, i-enjoy mo naman, Gemini. You deserve that kasi uh, buhay mo yan, pawis at dugo ang ang binuhos mo dyan sa iyong trabaho. And now that you have that ROI back in your life, nakuha mo na yung iyong return of investment, kumbaga, i-enjoy mo naman. Hindi puro Uh, puro bigay, puro provide sa iba, ba? Diba? So, Gemini, that's all I have for you for the week. I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Thank you for watching and I wish you have a blessed and wonderful day. Love and light.